What's up, guys? Uh, so we got the mystery tackle box for the month of August. Um, haven't opened it up. Actually, been sitting on it for the last couple of days, uh, waiting to do a video. I don't have a blade. I got a pencil. Let's see if that works. It doesn't work. It works. Sorry, kids. Broke the pencil. So let's see what we got inside the August mystery tackle box. So I already see something I like quite a bit. That's pretty awesome. Right there. Pretty pumped about that. Looks like a big one knocker. I'm gonna say is that three quarters? Three fourths. Definitely needed uh, some more giant booyah uh, lipless. A um, couple of times this past spring, this has been a very, very good size. And being a craw pattern, another good color for spring. Um, but we'll put it to work here in the next couple of months uh, before we get ice on top. So, nice bait there. Then we got the original classic, the Loco 10 crankbait. Not really the most exciting looking crankbait there. The Basco Berserk. This is the 3.5 inches in length. It's one, oh, I'm sorry, a half ounce and dives five to 10 feet. Um, it's almost like a good size mid depth crankbait. Not crazy about those hooks. Probably would end up swapping those out. The coloration um, in person doesn't look as good as it does on camera. On camera it looks a little bit better. Actually it almost has like a little bit purple coloration to it which is pretty interesting. So mid diving crankbait. A couple of hooks, extra wide gap. Three those got our the dibble tips and tricks. Then we got our price point. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Then we got a Lunker Hunt Shock 2.5. So a small little square bill type bait. I like the yellow. It's a good color. Uh, so this is a floating wide wobble. So it has searching capabilities to it. Um, it is 3 8 ounce and 2 inches and dives to 2.5 feet. So. Nice looking little crankbait there. I like the color. Probably give that one to the kids, but I might throw it a couple times before I do that. Nice little small pattern on it. Then we got a Savage Gear 3D Frog. Doing a lot of frog fishing this year. Um, always could use some more colorations, more variations. Those uh, legs are pretty long. I'd probably trim those up a little bit. I do like the coloration, black, good little frog there. So we got some mid divers, we got some deep divers, some top water. Oh boy. The Exopod, three and a half inch. I actually wanted to take a look at these. Um, so pretty excited about this. Uh, this is, has Biosense, a seven pack, so it's not like a sample pack. Uh, the three and a half inch. I use uh, Biospawn quite a bit, or at least back in the day, I used to use quite a bit of Biospawn. Um, actually, just this year, I started throwing a little bit more Biospawn, and I think that in some cases, uh, the Vilecraw actually has uh, done a pretty solid job for me in scenarios where I'm using a chatterbait and not really looking for a huge kick. Um, but Biospawn actually uh, put together this, the Exopod, which these paddles, um, it's very similar to a Rage Craw, uh, or a Rage Menace, sorry. Uh, it has some pretty good paddles with uh, a little bit of flange there that really catches the water, so. Um, haven't bought any of these. That's a really good color for me. Green Pumpkin works really well up here, at least I think that's Green Pumpkin. Um, but that should do pretty good. Um, so definitely looking forward to taking a look at this guy and seeing how it works out on the water. And then 
We got Death Wish. Lunkers, beware. This is a hand poured swim bait, soft plastic. It's quite a bit of packaging uh, for four baits, but um, we'll give it a shot. This is actually probably going to be a pretty good fall bait here in the next couple of months. Um, I throw the underspin quite a bit in the summer, or the late summer, uh, early fall months and we'll probably throw that on an underspin. So um, this guy right here, the Death Wish, uh, what is that, the Death Wish Lunkers, beware. Still not quite sure. All right, so this is $6.36. Then you got the Exopod is $4.99. It's a pretty solid price point there. Then you got the Lunker Hunt uh, 2.5F is $5.19. The Savage Gear Floating Skirt Frog is $7.99. Your hooks are $1.99. Your Booyah One Knocker $6.99. And I think. That's it. You got the uh, Loco 10, $7.99. So, not a bad box for the month of August. Again, um, I was kind of, kind of over Mystery Tackle Box and um, was going with the Elite Box for a while. I did the Pro Box for forever um, prior to, you know going to the elite box I found with the elite box I was getting more stuff but it wasn't really uh, stuff that I would use it's more or less of the stuff that I'd give to the wife or the kids when they were fishing um, and have since downgraded to the mystery tackle box pro been pretty happy with what I've gotten so far uh, in the box so if you guys want to check out mystery tackle box I'll put a link in the description below it's not an affiliate link or anything like that it's just if you guys want to check it out um, I'd say I'd give this month's box on a scale of 1 to 10 probably a 7 um, maybe it's 6 and a half, 7 uh, but there's some stuff in there that I definitely will use uh, there's some stuff that I'll probably give to the kids but will be trying some of the stuff out the next time I hit the water so thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that i upload a new video until next time